here in a bog outside Eden Derry County Offaly with Stephen Ryan. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Stephen? Uh, I'm just here, we're uh, loading Pete today, and uh, I'm here in my 01 144 460. Uh, I've been driving it for the last year. Uh, I go all over Ireland in it, so I do. Uh, stay out two to three nights a week. And uh, yeah, love this truck. Really oh. solid truck. Uh, you know, I would love a newer one, but for the work I do, it's perfect. Okay, and what trucks have you had before this? Uh, before this, I've had a 164. Before that, I've had uh, R500s. I drove S730s, 113s, 143s. I'd say all manner of Scania. Okay, and which one would you rate as the best? I'd say one of the, be the best uh, trucks for pulling I'd say it was a, an R500 I drove from a chap for a chap in the north that had the engine tuned. Oh. I'd say the most comfortable truck was probably the S730. Okay. So it, so it was. So you've driven driven them all. Driven them all, yeah. And if you could change this one in the morning for a fairly reasonable price truck, I don't mean a new all bells and whistles 730, what would you have? I'd say if I could change this in the morning, I'd probably have a 560 Highline. I think the top line's a nice cab, but for a round, uh, work around Ireland, a Highline cab is more suitable. Yes, the roads are not very... It's not a very top line cab, there's a lot of road with this cab. Yes. Uh, I... I've driven a Highline before, uh, driven one to the continent, and lived in one for over a week, and yeah, they're, they're fine, they're perfect. They're you a can great cab. You can stand up. Yeah. I think uh, I'd love a new S650. See, but not not uh, not the real high cab, just the lowish cab. Okay, so do you mean an S normal cab or do you mean an R Highline? I mean an S normal cab. Oh there wouldn't yeah. Be too many of them around. No, they're quite they they're, they're quite, quite rare. rare. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love one of them. Yes. So I would. And manual or OptiCruise? OptiCruise. Oh, every time an OptiCruise. Oh. This is a manual now, and it's a fine gearbox, but no, an OptiCruise, a two-pedal OptiCruise. Oh. Uh, it takes so much work away from the driver. Okay. So, so you'd be so uh, less tired at the end of the day. Yeah, and um, there's a lot of guys now who would. I know they'd see me coming in this truck and they'd think I'd be, <laughs> you know, real old school. I love this, but no, no, I definitely love an Opti Cruise. Yeah, I think I'm with you on that. I'd like to walk around and record it from the front, but there's such a strong wind at the moment. We're going to get too much yeah, wind noise. Yeah, we're in a very open area here. Yeah. Uh, where we are, we load a lot of turf. So we do, a lot of uh, peace in and, bogs like this. And it was quite a bad road. We had about, what, four kilometres, had we? About three kilometres? Four, four kilometres of a track. Very rough here, track. Yeah. We were just in the low gears the whole way down. Yes, and uh, as far as 4 by 2 you see you have a 4 by 2 chassis layout yeah, here. Yeah, I have a 4 by 2 chassis layout yeah. here, yeah. Whereas a lot of the trucks now are 6 by 2 most of the... Yeah, for, uh, for waste there, uh, for bulk work and different work, but I think fine for air work, most of the 4 by 2 it's fine, it's perfect. Yeah. So it is. And I like it, you know, you've the, the container, the box is uh, tight to the cab. Okay. So yeah, and it, it sits really well. It's very easy to maneuver a 4 by 2 Yeah. So it is. And more importantly, it looks better. It looks far better, yeah. <laughs> far better, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. We'll do a little bit record, more recording um, once we get turned around. So I've just jumped into the cab with Stephen here. And for a 20 year old truck, it's shining inside. It's a credit to you how clean it is. Yeah, well, I'm staying out in it all week, so I like to keep it clean. Yeah, so and I, I notice you have a few stickers here adorning this panel. Yeah, they're just a few, a few small little bits. I like to have have these here. Little souvenirs. Little souvenirs of places I've actually never been. To. <laughs> You've been to Greece, though. Well, not technically, no. In my head, probably. Yeah. Yeah. You were there, truck star event in truck Aston. Truck star event in Aston. Yeah, I was there this year. Yeah. Good. So we're loaded, Stephen. Yeah, we're just loaded there. Normally takes 
between 40 minutes to an hour to load to be slow enough there so just go back up this track uh, back till we get out onto the main road and then we bring this up to the port in Dublin. So what way are you grossing now? I'd say about 40, between 40 to 42 tonne. It's only 10 tonne there on the pin, see from the clock there, so that's oh, yeah. just normally a good indicator. So Yeah. And when the weather is dry, it's not too bad. Yeah. A bit lighter. It's a little bit lighter, yeah. But, so you uh, won't have any hills on the way? No, it won't have any hills around really to slow us down on the way. But like, yeah, or maximise the power from the V8. No. But uh, just take it real easy. Like, we're not even doing. 10 kilometers here on this road here. Yeah. This road is that bad, like, you know, you just break the truck up. If you were to go too hard coming up here, like. Yeah, it's pretty rough. It's fairly rough, all right, yeah. 